Match game 74. Production number 0245. Take one. Get ready to match the stars. Charles Nelson Riley. Brett Summers. John Adams. Elaine Jordan. Richard Dawson. And Missy McCall. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now, here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene Rayburn. It's the best I can do on this 4th of July. It's the closest thing I could get for it to a sparkler. Aww. You came May, on with a bang. Uh, my fingers are burning. <laughs> bang. May not have occurred to you, but in England, this is a day of mourning. Oh. <laughs> All right, here comes a rocket right at you. Just a second. <laughs> well, my tea's nearly ready. <laughs> How's everybody up here? We're, We're terrific. How are you feeling, Charles? Much better today, thank Good. you. Good. And no, you, I'm... my dear? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? If he doesn't feel well, why doesn't he go to a hospital and stop spreading his... You because never maybe the nurse would look like you. <laughs> And you shall find. He's a carrier. He is. There's going to be panic in the streets. Shall we? Uh, would you join me in a little applause for our two players here, Sandy Corey and Kendra Plummer? Hello, ladies. Uh, okay. Ready? Okay. I tell you what we're going to do. Uh, Sandra's our current champ. She's won three thousand dollars even, and that's pretty good. And she's being challenged by Kendra, who's had her first round question scored two matches. Your first round question will be coming up in a moment or so. But first, friends, as they say in television, this message. Oh, all right, I'll push this button and reveal this first round question, which we have for Sandy. Ready, Sandy? I'm ready. All right, listen carefully to this. Everybody plays. Next week, the Frankenstein monster will be on match game 74. He's replacing blank. My lips are sealed. <laughs> Next week, the Frankenstein monster will be on Match Game 74. He's replacing blank. Stop. I won't look. I won't look at all. It'll be a total surprise to me. <coughs> Don, are you ready? Oh. The what? Are you ready, Don? Uh, the Frankenstein monster, oh, yeah. who, and he's replacing oh, I blank. I can't do it. It's mean. <laughs> Well, it's only a game. <laughs> All right. Say that. I can't wait. I gotta. That's the third time you've changed your mind. I thought I could. You should change it to refrigerator. Refrigerator. R E S. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, back to back to this one. All right. She's finished. Now we need a response from you, Sandy. Next week, the Frankenstein monster will be on Match Game 74. He's replacing Don. Money I've won for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she says Don. Is there any special reason why you well, chose Don? It couldn't be one of the regulars. I didn't feel like it, you know, could be one of the regulars. Yeah. And um So you chose I, Don. I felt like Don was the yeah. best. She chose choice. you, Don. <laughs> it was really a gesture of love and affection. Because she knows we're running away together. <laughs> what do you say, Charles Nelson Wright? I chose the Betsy Ross of the panel, <laughs> lovely Brett. Yes. <laughs> Now, Brett uh, was chosen by Charles, That's and Brett joke. chooses... Well, the only person that it would be at all possible to choose. Dickie Dawson. Dickie <laughs> Dawson. <laughs> all right. Uh, Don, what do you say? I said Sandy. <laughs> 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 no, I said Charlie, but I didn't say Charlie who. I didn't say Charlie who. Okay. So, we don't have a match for Sandy yet. She chose John. What do you say? I'm, my nickname's Charlie. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so you said me? No, it no. isn't. Uh, you're not going to like this because I said you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, 
Oh, no, I've got two. <laughs> all I did was pull a string. That's, That's all. That's all you have to do. All right, while you're putting it all together, we'll call on Richard. <laughs> Go to my drive. Well, nobody is. Just stand there. No, no, no. I untied it. I'll tie it. You give us your answer while I'm well, putting it on. Well, let me undo this. Tell me where it's tight enough. Is, is that tight enough? Yes, that's I've never done this before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, Richard. May I just say, mm -hmm. you made an old man very happy. <laughs> All right. I Next said, week, the Frankenstein monster will be on Match Game 74. He's replacing... Who else? Brad. <laughs> okay. Her answer is Don. Mitzi, what is your answer? Well, darling, I wish you wouldn't spread those germs around, but I said, my friend... <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah. imitation of breath <laughs> there, Mitzi. Okay. Well, two to nothing at the end of round one. And we have round two to go through. But first, we've got to go through this message for you. GSN presents Behind the Blank. What was the name of the kids' game show Gene Rayburn hosted in 1953? Was it Tic-Tac-Doe, Kids Say the Darndest Things, Choose Up Sides, or Candid Camera? The answer in a minute. What was the name of the kids' game show Gene Rayburn hosted in 1953? The answer is C, Choose Up Sides. He hosted Tic-Tac-Doe in 1956. Stay tuned for more of that 70s hour on GSN. Okay, round one is over. Here comes round two. Here Kendra, comes. would you make a selection? B again, please. B was good to her last time. She matched Richard and Brett. The others uh, will participate. Those two will not. Here's a TV guide listing for you. Oh. oh. Wednesday night, CBS. What else? Cannon. Uh-huh. Cannon blanks a runaway elephant. <laughs> That I wish I were playing. Wednesday night, CBS, Cannon. <coughs> Cannon blanks a runaway elephant. <laughs> All right, Charles is ready. Next time I try and help you. You're in this too. <laughs> yeah. Your name is John. My name is Oh, he's a smart little devil. Yes, he's he is. slow. He said the others will not participate. Well, no, I said, well, then, I said the others will participate. Oh, see how I can Gotta be wrong sometimes? Yep. Oh, he's not only also, crazy, right? he's deaf. Yes. Now, Kendra, a TV guide listing for you. Wednesday night, CBS, Cannon. Cannon blanks a runaway elephant. Catches. Cannon catches a runaway elephant. Some logic to that? Charles? Well, for the lack of audience support <laughs> and for the complete latka that that answer gave, I will give the kid a break and say, catch it. So you thought it was a rotten answer, right, audience? And you were wrong. What do you say, Don? Uh, I think this is in the same category. Traps. Traps and catches. There it is, another man. Well, she's doing pretty well with that and didn't have much confidence in it. And let's get to Elaine Joyce. You notice how smoothly the game goes when Brett doesn't write? <laughs> <laughs> Watch that. I'll That's have to one show the people me. your roots. <laughs> uh, this poor runaway elephant, Cannon, you know, he's a big guy and right, and so this was kind of familiar to him, so he adopted. He adopted the elephant. The elephant. He loved that elephant. Yeah. Smooth but boring. <laughs> Oh. Say, well, I think Cannon's a little kinky, and I say he marries a runaway elephant. <laughs> well, I think that's he nice. married a runaway elephant, oh, eh? Yeah. He Gave packed him a his hole. trunk before he did. And yeah. lived happily ever after. Okay, moving All right, right on. All right, so it's four to nothing. <laughs> Sandy, you've got to score four to stay in the game. Five will win another game for you, however. Now, everybody plays. Oh, hey, we've got something special for you. I hope so, This Gene. is the match game hangover cure. Ah. Now, here's what you do. You take a large bowl and you mix in the following. <laughs> one cup vinegar, one cup booze. Uh. One raw egg, Ugh. one cup booze. <laughs> one cup mouthwash and one cup booze. Ugh. Drink it right down and in 60 seconds you'll be blank. <laughs> <laughs> you got the idea, Sandy. 
No. <laughs> Would you like to read it while I'm uh, talking? No, the to drinker you finished here. first. What's that? Finished first. The drinker first. finished first. All right. You just don't ask the right questions. <laughs> <laughs> you know about hangovers, do you? I've had some of the best hangovers in the business. <laughs> Are you thinking about it, Charles? Okay. John's ready. Charles is finished. Elaine's ready. Now, have you thought about it? Yes. Uh, one cup of mouthwash, one Wait. cup of booze, drink it right down, and in 60 seconds you'll be... Smashed. Smashed. Well, that's all you could be. <laughs> that's all you could be. Well, she studied it very well. Don't be mad. Smashed. Smashed. I mean, you drink one cup vinegar, one cup booze, one raw egg, one cup booze, one cup mouthwash, one cup booze. Uh, you gotta be smashed. Charles is cold. <laughs> Charles? Then you'll be staying home next week. <laughs> I said dead. You'd be dead. That's a little more than smashed, isn't it? What did you say, dead? Dead. Brett? Good heavens, that's what I said. Dead. All right. Gotta match everybody else to stay in the game. Let's see if it happens. Don? Is this the same as smashed? Expired. No, that's the same as dead. Oh. So, Kendra Plummer is the winner. Congratulations. Yes, Carol. Congratulations to you. Stand by for a moment, Kendra. Sandy, uh, you'll be leaving us now, and but not empty-handed. You've got an even three thousand dollars. We congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Hope you enjoyed it. Bye -bye. Goodbye. There she goes with her money. She did very well, Kendra. She had uh, $3,000 to her credit, and she uh, did very well. Now, Kendra, you face me. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about this big money super bank over here. <laughs> Are you all right? No. But no? Go, but just go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll go ahead. <laughs> so we, we had this whole studio audience one day, and we got their best response to this. <laughs> right? <laughs> Maniac. Oh. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. Then if you match the next one, it's $250. And the third, $100. Which celebrities would you like to get a little help from? Oh, Brett, because they were picking on her so much earlier. You That's wonderful right. person. I'm tor torn between. Well, there's there are two terrific... Well, maybe I'll go for Give Ego. Give us one. Oh, I wish I could give you two. Okay, I'm going to go for Egomaniac. Egomaniac is her response. And Dickie. Something well, I like hope to that. be, uh, something I hope to be when I grow up, a sex maniac. Okay. One more. And Don. Don? Nympho. <laughs> <laughs> something you hope to be when you grow up? <laughs> if I can get a sailor, I'll meet when I grow up. <laughs> so... You have three interesting <laughs> answers. Well, sex maniac, nymphomaniac, and egomaniac. What's that? I said they're all about the same, aren't they? Really? We <laughs> <laughs> don't think so. I hope not. Dad. Yeah. All right, now you may choose one of those. Or get one. Don't keep running away from me. We've got to stay in one spot so you can get nice, pretty pictures of your face here. You want to choose one of those or give us one of your own? Uh, I'll take sex. Okay. <laughs> She <laughs> should have taken That's info. one sex to go. Oh. <laughs> Hold the mayo. <laughs> All right. Uh, how could I put this? Uh, we're looking for sex. May I see the one hundred dollar response? Klepto. Klepto. You can see how that yes. audience yes. was working there. That really was. All right. Popular. The answer we want is sex maniac, and we're <laughs> we're looking. Uh, may we see the two hundred and fifty dollar thing there? Raving oh. maniac. Wow. Wow. Funny. Have faith, Have faith. <laughs> sex will out, baby. You think so? You think it's up there, Ego. audience? You think sex Ego. maniac is under there? Aren't you going to be surprised? May we see the $500 response? Yeah. That's enough of that. So, the sex won you $500, huh? And that means you're gonna play for 10 times that amount now or $5,000, but remember, you have to match one celebrity head-to-head, 
has to be an exact match. Which one will it be? Oh, I have to go with Mr. Dawson again. <laughs> Mr. Dawson. And it's worth okay. every penny. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, you face me if you would please, Kendra. And here is the five thousand dollar question: blank treat, T R E A T, blank treat. Blank treat. His pen ran out of juice there, and he changed pens. Did you notice how smoothly he did that? As well, he was thank writing. you. Okay, he's finished. Now, Kendra. What answer do you think of to match Richard Dawson? Blank treat. Well, it's the wrong time of year, but trick or treat. Trick or treat? <laughs> that happens in November. The audience seems to like it. We'll find out right now whether you win the money or not. Richard, for $5,000, may we see your response? Well, what happens when you go out and you've got, you don't have enough money to buy the girl a meal? What do they call that? <laughs> Dutch well, treat? In England, we call that trick or treat. <laughs> down the runway here <laughs> and see who takes it off next here so don't go too far away a little message for you tune in turn on and blank out with that 70s hour stay tuned there's more match games still to come only on gsn we're ready to start a brand new game. To do that, we're very pleased to present a new player. Let's welcome Jack Holder. Hello, Jack. Hello, Ryan. How are you? Lovely to see you. Good. You know Kendra? How do you feel, Kendra? Oh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> now, Jack, would you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm a welding foreman. I'm from Long Beach. I'm You're a what foreman? Welding foreman. A welding foreman. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm from Long Beach. I'm here with my lovely wife, Judy. I have a three-year-old son, Brian, and I have another one on the way. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't look it, does he? <laughs> you hardly show it all, Jack. <laughs> Good luck to you here. Shall we begin? Bing. Push the button, reveal two questions, ask the challenger to make a selection. A. A is what he wants. New game, folks. Are you ready? Yeah. We certainly are. Are you ready, Mitzi? Oh, I'm ready anytime. All right, here we go. <laughs> the psychiatrist said to Bernie, how come every single ink blot I show you reminds you of blank? The psychiatrist said to Bernie, how come every single ink blot I show you reminds you of blank? Why did I the best. get that to coffee during the Don't, you shouldn't eat on That's camera. Stinging. I keep oh telling it. Oh There's God. a chance it might glow her mouth shut, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. would you, I'm gonna get it. Would you write I'm gonna get you in the parking lot. I, I <laughs> never stand up again. Write an answer to well, this. if I could understand the bloody question, I'd the be The psychiatrist thrilled. said to Bernie, how come every single ink blot I show you reminds you of... Oh, okay. See how easy it is when you put your mind to it, Brett. Okay, Jack Holder. How come every single ink blot I show you reminds you of... Sex. Sex. Every time that word is mentioned, that audience they applauds like crazy. Up. They really come to life when you say that word, Charles. Well, they're going to be dead now, but I said your wife, which is on the road to the correct answer. Yeah, but not quite. <laughs> Brett? Well, from that old standby maniac, sex. There it is. The Yayers are at it again, Don. What was the question? <laughs> How come every single ink blot I show you reminds you of... A linky fountain pen. <laughs> I don't even want to see it. Is I that what it really says? It really says a leaky fountain. A leaky fountain pen. That's what it reminds me of. I think we should administer the Rorschach test to Don immediately. And Between test him. a sailor and a leaky fountain pen, I think you're right. <laughs> what do you say? I, uh, I'm like the rest. I, when they're going to light up like crazy. Sex. Sex is the word. Okay. 
I'll Richard. bet he said that. I'll bet anything he said it. Because it's written on your forehead. <laughs> Why don't we tell our wives we're in Tijuana? <laughs> no one to be any of the wives. Oh, <laughs> so I wrote sex. See? There you go. All right. <coughs> sex is the answer that uh, Jack is looking for, Mitzi. What do you say? I was in the war and I have shrapnel. <laughs> I want sympathy. I put me. I'm sorry. <sighs> Went, How come every single ink blot I show you reminds you of me? The psychiatrist is speaking. Don't you get it? Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> you want to take my top off? No, 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 no. <laughs> You're going to join Don in the padded room a little bit okay. later. And it's three to nothing at this moment in the middle of round one, and we've got to stop here and do a little business with you, and this is it. I did. All right. Listen, we've got to stop right here, I'm sorry to say. Uh, three to nothing, <laughs> middle of round one. Your first round question will come up next time. And we'll look forward to seeing you. And look forward to seeing all of you again. You were just terrific. Oh, thank you. <laughs> terrific. And my ink blot reminds me of you. Oh, <laughs> I thank you for that, Mitzi. Okay. And thank you for being with us. And we'll have you back again sometime. Thank you. And you too, sir. You were all grand. I'm not a now, sir, I'm a man. the next time we get together, we're going to have this group of ding lings for your enjoyment. Maury Amsterdam, Kurt Summers, George Kirby, Joanne Flew, Richard Dawson, and Betty White. Team Rayburn for Match Game 74. Join us next time. Goodbye. Tomorrow on The Amazing Race, a two-hour adventure to the land down under. Sydney, Australia. But first... We need an hour to go shopping. There's nothing like a shopping center to bring two friends together. Tomorrow night at 10 on GSN. GSN, the network for games.